If you are suffering from low sperm count or oligospermia, then this video is for you. So hi friends, welcome to your YouTube channel Origin IVF. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma. If you wish to come to our center, you can see the number on the screen below. You can take, give a phone call and take an appointment. If you wish to take an online appointment, you can see the link in the description box below. We are situated at Delhi at three locations. Coming to the topic of the video today, which is oligospermia or low sperm count. First of all, you have to know what do you, you know, when do you say that it is low sperm count? So as per WHO, if your sperm count is less than 16 million per ml, then you are suffering from low sperm count. Till now, so many labs, they have not changed their reference ranges or they have not updated their reference ranges. They are still showing as 40 million, sometimes 60 million per ml as a normal sperm count. And so many times patients come in panic when they have a sperm count of 30 million, 40 million and thinking that they have low sperm count. So no, 16 million per ml is the cutoff. If you have higher than that, you are normal. If you have lower than that, that is low sperm count. Now that we have established that you have low count, we can categorize that into three categories, mild, moderate, severe. Mild is when your count is varying between 10 to 16 million per ml. Moderate is when the count is between 5 to 10 million per ml. And severe is when it is less than 5 million per ml. And this categorization is very important because your treatment will depend on that. Let's say if you are talking about very severe low sperm count like maybe 1 million or 2 million, your treatment is entirely different. But if you are talking about mild uh, low sperm count like 13 million, 14 million sperm count, then your treatment is entirely different. Okay. Now coming to the causes. What could be the cause? So in so many cases, we don't know the cause, but in many of the cases, the causes may be one is lifestyle factor, meaning alcohol is a big culprit, smoking is a big culprit, pollution, pesticides, and, and adulterated food. In fact, obesity. Also, if you're going to the gym and taking testosterone injections or steroid injection, they can play havoc with your sperm count. Other than that, there could be some underlying medical conditions like you are suffering from diabetes or you are suffering from uh, hypertension, if you are suffering from other medical illnesses like maybe dengue, malaria, some viral infection. So any kind of medical illness can decrease the sperm count. Any kind of trauma or injury to your testis can also lead to decrease in the sperm count. So there is past history of trauma, past history of injury, some surgeries like hernia surgery, like your surgery on your prostate. Um, sometimes surgery on the testes itself can lead to decrease in the sperm count. Other than that, there could be some genetic reasons like Klinefelter syndrome, Kalman syndrome, which can be a reason for low sperm count. Sometimes there are hormone imbalances. We know the sperms are produced with the interplay of hormones. The hormones are released from brain, that is from hypothalamus and pituitary. Those hormones come and work on the testes. So if there is a, there is a problem in those hormones also, then also the sperm counts are reduced. There are certain medications also like antifungal, antibiotic, anti-cancer uh, treatment or uh, testosterone as I said earlier as well can lead to decrease in the sperm count, right? So there could be many reasons for decrease in the sperm count. So I would say that understanding the root cause of low sperm count is very important for proper treatment. Are there any symptoms by which you yourself can say uh, that you may suffer from low sperm count? So no, usually there are no symptoms. It is only when then you have done the semen analysis that you come to know that you are suffering from low sperm count. But yes, there may be certain clues. Clues like if you are suffering from infertility, I mean you have been trying for more than a year and still pregnancy has not happened, then yes, of course you have to do semen analysis. If you are, have, if you are having less facial hair, then also you should be uh, checking your uh, semen analysis because uh, that might be an indication for some hormonal imbalance. If you have some past history of uh, trauma to your testes, if you have some pain in the testes or scrotal region, that might suggest some sort of infection and that might give you a clue towards that you might be having some problem with your sperm counts. How will the doctors manage? So whenever you go to a doctor, with the report of low sperm count, first of all, they will repeat the semen analysis because I would uh, inform you that the semen analysis may be very variable. 
it may vary from 2 million to 200 million even in a fertile male. So semen analysis should be repeated maybe 2-3 times from good laboratories. That is also very important that it has to be done from a good laboratory and not at a collection center. Here we are talking about live sperms. So if you have given a sample at some collection center and from the collection center itself the sample has taken 4 hours to reach the main laboratory, the reports will be very very um, unsatisfactory. So first of all the doctors will repeat the semen analysis. If still the sperm count is low, they might order certain hormonal tests like FSH, LH, testosterone. They can also order certain ultrasounds like ultrasound of the scrotum to check for the testis health. Sometimes transrectal ultrasound for checking the health of your uh, reproductive organs. So your ultrasound may be ordered, your hormones may be ordered. Of course they would be taking a full history and examination of you to find out a probable cause for low sperm counts. And then how it is managed. First of all, if a cause is found, that cause is treated. So if a doctor has found that you are suffering from infection, you will be provided antibiotics. If you are having severe varicocele and uh, you know your partner is absolutely normal, then sometimes a varicocele surgery would be advised to you. Then certain antioxidants and vitamins also will be given to you like zinc containing vitamin like vitamin E, vitamin C but how much these antioxidants and vitamins are going to help is question mark. Other than that you have to change your lifestyle, you have to stop alcohol, you have to stop smoking and you have to you know switch to very healthy lifestyle. Then in the end artificial reproductive technology is what is going to help you in having your own baby. And depending upon the severity of oligospermia, depending upon how low the sperm count is, a decision between IUI, which is intrauterine insemination, and IVF, ICSI, or test tube baby would be taken. So if the sperm counts are very, very low, like less than 5 million, it is a straight away IVF, ICSI. ICSI is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, in which we take eggs from your wife and we take one sperm and inject into each egg, right? And if the sperm counts are mild low, like 5 million, 10 million, 15 million, then an IUI would be tried, maybe one or two, three IUIs. If that does not work, then you have to proceed to IVF, ICSI. I hope this, uh, with the help of this video, some of your questions would have been answered. If you have any further questions, you can write down in the comment section below, and we would be very happy to answer those questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.